Looking at the pound Aussie, uh, you can see here that we are bouncing into some supply here on the big weekly time frame. This level has been bounced off of not once, not twice, but what I would consider three times. Boom, boom, and here. Okay, so uh, considering that this zone is uh, potentially pretty weak, uh, I could see us breaking out of this uh, range overall that we've had from uh, right around here in the 171.86 area down here to the bottom. Okay, so and now we're starting to form a uh, new demand as price seems to be wanting to to do something to the upside. Right now it's still technically rangy conditions until it bre breaks 178.03, but uh, after that happens then I could easily see us soaring up into the uh, $2 range. On the daily time frame again, it uh, kind of coincides with the weekly. We still have a, a couple more supply zones to bust through. We have this one, uh, this blue zone right here. That one should be weak because we've already gotten a bounce. And if the uptrend is truly in place, shouldn't have a problem. But also look out for 177.69 up to 181.92 as uh, we will be seeing some resistance right there as well here on the daily time frame. Looking at the pound yen here, you can see that uh, we've been watching this market in the past. It's gotten really, really consolidated here uh, towards the beginning of the year and now it's busted up and it's failed to break the 148.46 zone, this uh, nice big weekly supply zone. And now we're coming back down, okay? So I would like to see us uh, try to do one more attempt to see if we can't really break outside of this uh, range area that we've been. Overall, I'd like to see something like that have happen here, but uh, only time will tell. Uh, if it doesn't happen, then uh, as soon as we can close below this weekly candle here, uh, we could see a continued sell off to the downside. Okay, so we'll be looking for one of those two uh, scenarios to happen. All right, uh, and this is kind of the uh, the line in the sand here for me, if you will, that uh, we're going to be watching here. Looking at the daily time frame, you can see that price is uh, kind of bouncing here a little bit, and uh, I would really like to see price come down here this week and truly bounce off of this aqua zone at 140.19 down to 138.93 and then continue to the upside. Now, if that doesn't happen, let's just do uh, up perspective and down perspective, okay? So we know that we've been uh, really consolidating. We found uh, a real nice little bounce to the upside here. We've failed to break the high. If this market continues to go up, I could see it continuing to go up here right around the 146 area, okay? First, I would like it to come down, but right up here is gonna be the decision point to see whether or not we really break out of this uh, big range that we've been in here for the past uh, quarter, I would say. So we will see if price can break out above this point. Again, I would really like to see us touch this level down here first. Uh, so maybe we pop up just a little bit here to begin with comes back down and then goes back to the upside and really gives us a real good retest of 146 up to 148. Now that is a, a bigger term perspective. So this week I could see us easily coming back up into uh, this area here right around 145, uh, then all the way down to 140 would be what I would, could see happening this week. However, the market can do whatever it wants to do. So. We will see as uh, price comes to fruition this coming week.